Let us now understand as to what are the reasons why a demand curve slopes downward. So reason downward slope of demand curve now you saw in the previous video that if the quantity is measured on the x-axis and the price is kept on the y-axis demand curve normally goes like this which means that as the price of the commodity falls the quantity demanded increases now what are the reasons why does this happen I'll take them one by one the first one is the law of diminishing marginal utility Now, this law was basically formed by Mr. Marshall Okay Now, let's take an example When you are feeling hungry Let's say you go to any burger shop Okay And you had the time when you get your first burger at that time the value the utility of this first burger is very high for you why because you are feeling hungry once you are done with the first burger you feel okay I still feel hungry I'll go for the second one now the utility of this second burger depending on your appetite could be medium to high I mean this was absolutely essential for you to have this is okay to have in the sense you're not feeling as hungry as you were feeling for the first one Now, once you've had two burgers and if you get the third one you may actually not be interested so your utility or the relevance or the importance utility means importance in this case will be low so what the law of diminishing marginal utility says is that as consumer as consumer gets more and more of a particular good the utility for the consumer for that goes down and accordingly the price he is willing to pay decreases so just like in this case for the first burger even if someone were to ask you that normally it is available for 40 bucks you have to pay 60 you would have given for the second one same burger someone would have said 60 you would have said oh no 60 is much let me pay 40 for the third burger if you don't like having it you will not even pay one rupee for that so therefore as the quantity of in goods increases the price payment by the customer because the utility of that is decreasing goes down the second reason is the substitution of particular good now there are many commodities which can act as substitute of the other I gave you an example of rice and wheat in some of the earlier videos where I said that when in a household you know a person might be using both rice and wheat Okay. 
Now, if two commodities are such that they can be substituted for each other, let's say rice and wheat, you can have tea, coffee. I mean, you can have a tea or you can have coffee. If price of one increases, let's say price increases, then the consumer will try to substitute something else in respect of rice, which is, let's say, wheat. So therefore, as the price increased, the demand for rice went down and demand for wheat increased. So in case of substitution of particular goods, what happens is that if there are substitutes which are available in the market for a particular commodity, whenever there is a price increase in that commodity, the demand for that goes down and the demand for the substitute good increases. Okay?